art of spontaneity i think is the most unique trait of human civilization human culture art literature poetry and so on and so forth but unfortunately in present times the word spontaneity has come to denote certain negative connotations spontaneity is being thought of as a bad word if as a poet you say you say something like that you write poetry spontaneously then you immediately get snubbed off and people think of you as somebody who probably doesn't want to spend the kind of time and energy who doesn't want to invest that kind of time and energy in reading about poetry seriously in getting to learn about different techniques of poetry basically who is not quite inclined to to study poetry seriously as a discipline so you're basically not taken seriously in literary circles that is if as a poet you claim to write spontaneously if you say that spont tenacity is your primary motivational force in writing poetry it sounds very naive in the present times the whole claim to be spontaneous and basically as i said you're not taken seriously in literary circles you're probably even made fun of on the contrary if you say pretentious things like i revise my poem probably a thousand times before i thought it worthy of submitting for publication anywhere or let's say if you write a poem where for understanding every second or third line people have to sit with a dictionary or people have to uh, sort of go through certain references or footnotes or where every second or third line of the poem has an allusion to some literary characters from the past some other literary works from the past in poetry is thought of as very impressive and it is taken very seriously in literary circles but the point is in order to be a serious poet do you really need to take poetry so seriously and talk about it seriously if that were the case then why haven't all the academicians and everybody who has studied poetry seriously become great poets so has spontaneity got something to do with all of this i think so let's try to understand this through a story so let's assume there are two people two poets and both of them go to college they are college uh, students they don't study poetry they go to the university to study some other subject some other discipline but they both are very passionate about writing poetry writing poetry and both are very passionate about writing poetry in their own right the gender also here is immaterial they can be male or female boy or a girl but the important thing is that they're both poets not one of them and for the sake of convenience let's assume that they both write in one language that is english now one of them is very meticulous in his study of poetry and this person is very disciplined he or she devotes a couple of hours every day to study about poetry to read the works of great poets to understand techniques of poetry basically to study literally everything that has been uh, written about poetry and he has a particular schedule a particular reading list every week and he meticulously sticks to that reading list about poetry and studies poetry very seriously as a discipline as a discipline now he's a student not a student of a poetry and like other like all other students he has a certain kind of lifestyle he hangs out with his friends goes for socialization parties to cafes he does all of that normal stuff but the important thing here is that he's very disciplined so he doesn't do anything out of plan everything is very planned and he rarely does anything randomly even for writing poetry he has a fixed schedule every day and without a fail at the same time of the day he has to devote some time to write poetry has to produce something in the time slot no matter if he or she is inspired or not but he has to devote that time to write poetry so a very disciplined kind of a person a very inspiring figure you can say now the second guy or girl is also a student but this one is the total opposite in character it's total opposite in character to the first person very indisciplined very what you would call a random person doesn't do anything as a uh, planned uh, does anything any time basically a very scatterbrained kind of a person not the kind of the 
a model poet or model student kind of a person by any uh, stretch of imagination. He or she also reads uh, poet poetry, but but he reads poetry, but in a very scatterbrained fashion, and not just poetry. Reads a lot of stuff randomly from different sources, newspapers, periodicals, a detective fiction here, a book a book about politics there, and some poetry as and when he or she gets inspired, or as and when something fascinates him. But there is no rule that. he has to do a particular amount of reading every day basically just reads whatever catches his fancy and doesn't have any clear any tangible reading list so if you ask him what poetry is he reading these days or if you ask him specific questions about poetry about the history of poetry or something like that he probably wouldn't be able to impress you at all because he does everything in a very half assed way without any planning right when he feels like sometimes can go on writing continuously for days on end and sometimes many days pass and will not write anything at all totally depends on his mood and can any time ditch his reading and writing for attending a random program going to a musical concert hanging out with a new group of friends just walking in the rain doing random stuff so totally this person is a total slave to his senses you can say Now, which of the two do you think writes better poetry? Now, again, this is subjective. We have heard about these two people, but we haven't met them. We haven't read their poetry, so any of the two can be a better poet, or maybe both of them write equally well. But that's not the question here. The point here is that both of them have an overabundance of something. The first person, the disciplined guy or girl, has an overabundance of method. and the second person the indisciplined guy or girl has an overabundance of spontaneity and both of these uh, are both of these are like in exaggerated proportions none of these things is good by itself spontaneity will definitely need a bit of method eventually for the art of poetry to be further chiseled and honed but i would give spontaneity here a certain edge because without method you can still produce a poem if you have imagination if you have spontaneity but do you think method without spontaneity would work for poetry now as, as i said that i'm talking about my own from my own journey as a poet from my own experiences as a poet and therefore i might be a bit partial more partial towards spontaneity here and it might not apply to all of you because everybody has different personalities but still genrically speaking even on a genre level i think you can read all the poetry of the world you want to you can know all about uh, different theories pertaining to poetry you have you could have read literally all different kinds of uh, poetry that has ever been written under the sun you could have amazing knowledge about all the different poetic techniques and still not be able to produce a line of poetry you can still sit in front of the computer screen for hours or sit with your paper and pen for hours and still not be able to write a single line of poetry now why is that so you have written so you've read so much about poetry you've gained so much knowledge from different sources then why is it that you're not able to write any poetry why is it that you're not getting inspired enough to write poetry that is because you need an idea for writing poetry and it is when that idea strikes you that idea gets processed in your consciousness that you can actually start writing poetry and where do you get that idea from do you get that idea from reading books about poetry or reading about different techniques of poetry unfortunately not for that idea you would have to always fall back upon that cursed supposedly frivolous spontaneity let's say you're sitting by yourself lost in your thoughts sipping a cup of coffee or a tea you're not particularly doing anything you are let's say idle it's safe to say that you are sitting idle but as you're sitting a lot of thoughts pass through your consciousness all of a sudden 
you remember a random street that you passed by while walking yesterday all of a sudden you remember a strange house an old house or perhaps a dilapidated building that you pass by on your way to work every day you remember an old photograph of yours with a couple of friends who are no longer a part of your life who no longer hang out with you or maybe they live in a different city and then a lot of stories come to you and a lot of stories are come to your consciousness about the time spent with those friends you remember the last trip the last picnic with your parents with your mother perhaps and again a lot of emotional associations a lot of stories come to your head maybe you recall a particular the haunting melody and all these thoughts are coming into your head are coming into your mind as you're sitting idle just sipping a cup of tea or coffee you're not reading anything at this particular point of time and it's safe to say that you're not even doing anything but all these ideas have struck spontaneously and these ideas are what would eventually lead you towards writing poetry they would become the characters of your poems they would become the material of your poems and of course uh, all your knowledge of reading books uh, and poetry and different kinds of literature is going to be handy when you're going to sort of frame the text for this poem and it's definitely going to enhance your vocabulary and it's going to improve the way improve the way in which you're saying what you have to say but what you have to say you cannot get that through books that comes from the lives of those around you from your own lives from your own uh, imagination from the act of uh, engaging with the world around you from the act of doing random things and also and basically from the act of uh, spontaneity when you just let yourself be books reading books reading literature reading about poetry is an amazing pursuit it would definitely uh, give you a lot of knowledge a lot of insight into human character it would sharpen your perception it would enhance your appreciation of a poetry uh, written by others it would help you to better understand and appreciate great poetry and it would definitely do amazing things to your uh, language grammatical uh, skills and and basically uh, your writing powers and your vocabulary but what it would not do is give you ideas for writing poetry it would certainly not help you directly in your own journey as a poet unless and until that journey is aided by spontaneity idleness idleness is also an important prerequisite of spontaneity it is important to be not doing something all the time in order to be spontaneous and by that extension in order to be creative but more on that later so this was it for today thank you so much for listening please do like the video and please do subscribe to my youtube channel pratya gnuti official and please don't forget to press the bell icon on the top right hand corner so that you can get constant updates and notifications about different kinds of videos pertaining to poetry different ideas about poetry or writing poetry tips for beginners poetry tips for performance poetry and many other such interesting content related to poetry thank you so much for listening